can just handle this on the aluminum heat spreader. Just hold it from the edges. The only part that's sensitive to electrostatic discharge would be the fingers on the base of the RAM. So speaking of that, we want to install it into DIMMs two and four is what this particular motherboard says to get that dual channel RAM. So we wanna start with DIMM two being that we only have two sticks, although this could house four sticks if you wanted. So channel A would be DIMMs one and two, channel B would be DIMMs three and four. So we're gonna use channel A and channel B to get that dual channel. And there is a wedge within the fingers of the RAM. And you wanna line that wedge up with the indention in the memory module slots on the motherboard. Also, there's little retention arms that you saw that I undid. You wanna undo them. You can just move forward or move back on them. So undo them so that you can slide your RAM right in and line it up as I was saying. And if you push down on one side, it'll click. On the other side, it'll click as well. So now, line up the fingers on the bottom of the RAM with the memory module slot on the motherboard. This is DIMM4. Goes right in, press down, top clicks, and the bottom retention arm will click as well as you apply more pressure on the end of the RAM stick. Done. So the RAM looks really cool, it has enough space for the fan as well. Although the fan would get in the way, something to consider if you had the fan on this side and not this side of the cooler, you would need a kind of a low profile RAM if you wanted to go with four sticks of that DDR4 3200 megahertz RAM, being that the heat spreader does come up a little bit. Okay guys, well now for the fun part, we're going 